talk about the swell games that the Grecians played, or the sports of France and Spain. You may boast about the records that the Romans made, when ere they sought athletic fame. You may rave about your rough football, cricket, golf, or any game at all. But I want to tell you all that there's none of these that did it with our own Yankee game, baseball. Baseball, old baseball. You're the game that gets the land going. You're the only, only sport, the daddy of all others. You're the game that beats them all. Play ball, all oh, play ball. That's the cry that sets the fans a howling. Women, men, and girls, and boys are rooters one and all. For everybody loves baseball. Oh, it's true. Everybody loves baseball. It's our own national sport right here in the USA. So many wonderful songs have been written about it, and there's no wonder, because there's so much drama, so much excitement, and so much heroism in every game. For example, when first base contains a runner in the ninth last half, and one run will tie the score, then it's two strikeout part of the fans begin to laugh, while part of them feel blue and sore. But an insane hush comes o'er the throng As some batsman rises bold and strong And he lines a homer out far beyond the cheering bleachers Then everybody sings this song Baseball, old baseball You're the game that gets the fans a-going You're the only, only sport the daddy of all you're the game that beats them all. Play ball, all oh, play ball. That's the cry that sets the fans to howling. Women, men, and girls, and boys are rooters one and all. For everybody loves baseball. Now I bet there might be some folks here who have a special someone that you're trying to win the heart of, and I have a tip for you. Take them to a baseball game. This is a tried and true strategy. Why my own fiance took me to a Chicago Cubs baseball game early in our courtship, so I can tell you from experience that there is nothing like the thrill of the game to set your hearts afire for one another. And we're getting married in just about two weeks, so it all ended very well indeed. all right it's a fine place at night but the place that's the money to me is the park where they play classy ball every day talk of sport it's the big jubilee at the shout of play ball i'm just daffy that's all as i sit with my queen like a king with her scorecard in hand, Mamie looks more than grand to the rooters around me I sing. Take your girl to the ball game any old afternoon. That's the place to propose to Mame, the spot for a sunshiny spoon. Make a fan of your staff. Girl, if you lose her, I'll take all the blame. In the stand, it's just grand as she squeezes your hand at the baseball game. Get your seat in the shade, buy some cool lemonade, and a big bag of peanuts or two. 
Tell her each player's name and all points of the game. All her life she'll be thankful to you. Every real Yankee maid loves to see the game played. For ten innings she traveled to Rome. And she'll pray every day that the home team's away, that they'll win, and she'll sing when they're home. Take your girl to the ball game any old afternoon. That's the place to propose to name the spot for a sunshiny spoon. Make a fan of your steady girl. If you lose her, I'll take all the blame. In the stand, it's just grand as she squeezes your hand at the baseball game. You know, it's not just the sport that brings us to watch baseball, right? We get to see the players in action, but we also get to hear the cheers of the crowd and smell food and eat the food, and not just hot dogs and beer and lemonade, but the quintessential baseball snack, Cracker Jacks. So we have a few helpers who are gonna toss few lucky people in the crowd, your own box of Cracker Jacks to enjoy, but I have to prevail upon you to wait to enjoy them until intermission. We don't want to mess up this beautiful performance space. So if you are a lucky person to snag a box of Cracker Jacks, hold off on enjoying them until you head out to the lobby. I'm going to send this out to my friend for him to enjoy. was baseball mad, had the fever and had it bad, just to root for the hometown crew, every Sue, Katie Blue. On a Saturday, her young beau called to see if she'd like to go to see a show, but Miss Kate said, no, I'll tell you what you can do. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out. Who's ready to sing with me? You all know this song, right? Of course you do. This song is so famous and so well known, second only to Happy Birthday and the Star Spangled Banner, that it is affectionately called our second national anthem. So I'm gonna count to four and we'll sing the chorus together once or maybe twice, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, Four. Here we go. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. 